The final part of this experiment is going to involve looking at uh, the evaporation of water from a saturated sodium chloride solution. And we will do that by starting with what we call a steam bath. Uh, in the video, you will actually see the steam bath built up. But what it is, is essentially an evaporating dish placed over a beaker full of boiling water. The boiling water uh, produces steam. The steam condenses on the evaporating dish, and that causes the evaporating dish's temperature to rise. However, it cannot get any hotter than the steam, which should theoretically uh, be at 100 degrees Celsius. So since the evaporating dish is never at the temperature uh, above which the solution will boil, that will literally cause the solution to evaporate very quickly without actually boiling and producing bubbles. The solution will not spatter. So when we say that the solution that we're looking at is saturated, that simply means that it is holding the maximum amount of solute that that uh, amount is able to hold at that particular temperature. So what you're going to do is, as you watch these coming videos, you want to record all mass and volume values into your report sheets under Part D as it goes. You will need those values to calculate the different uh, concentration terms that will come up later on in the report. Be sure to very carefully read through page 90 uh, before attempting any of the calculations because that will walk you through how you make those calculations. Of course, you should also study your notes from the lecture before uh, attempting any of those calculations as well. Wherever it tells you in the lab report to show your uh, calculations, you must do so. It is not acceptable to just write the answers on the lines. So please carefully, clearly show all calculations on the report sheets. I will be deducting points if I notice that calculations are missing where the instructions explicitly say to show them. You also need to show calculations on questions 5, 6, and 7. I begin the experiment by weighing a clean and empty evaporating dish. At this point, I added 10.00 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride solution. I do not have a video showing this process, you just have to take my word for it. Next, I weigh the evaporating dish that contains the 10.00 ml of sodium chloride solution. Now I set up my steam bath by using a Bunsen burner which is placed underneath a beaker which is about half filled with water. You notice that the water immediately begins to steam up as I am heating the beaker with the hottest part of the Bunsen burner. I then get my evaporating dish and I carefully place it right over the top of the beaker. The water in our steam bath is now boiling. It's producing steam, which is heating the solution in the evaporating dish. As time passes, you note that salt is starting to form on the sides of the liquid.
the evaporating dish has been removed from the steam bath and now it's going to be heated directly by the Bunsen burner at some distance. We want there to be some distance because otherwise the solution might boil too vigorously and spatter. All water should have been removed by this more aggressive heating. The Bunsen burner has been turned off. After allowing it to cool for just a few minutes, I'm going to remove the evaporating dish from the wire gauze. Finally, to complete the experiment, I weigh the now dry salt which is in the evaporating dish.